Good morning and welcome to Emerge. Today is Thursday, July 25th, 2019, and it is another beautiful day that the Lord has given us. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God is great all the time, and all the time, God is so very great. So today for our Emerge moment, I am again on the campus of Rutgers in Piscataway, a place of higher learning. And basically all you see is green because that's the area I'm at right now. Uh, but I'm in a place of higher learning, a place where you learn about a specific field, a specific major, a specific subject to become in hopes to be an expert in hopes to be someone, a professional in whatever area you choose. But today I want to talk about the seed of you, the seed of you. Even if you think about this tree, this lovely tree right here. That's a nice looking tree there. That tree started off as a seed, as a seed planted into the ground that sprung forth, that sprung forth and it is a beautiful tree that sprung forth from the ground. And we started off as a seed in our mother's womb that grew and became and was born and is somebody. Don't you know that we are all somebody in Christ? We are all somebody in God's, in God's heart and mind. We are all somebody with the purpose and a plan, with the destiny, we are all somebody. The seed of us, God allowed us to come forth with a purpose and a plan. God allowed life to spring forth and we are somebody, we are a living soul. Isn't that a blessing? that God had us in mind. And there's no one else in the world like us. There's not another Dorothy. There's not another you. There's nobody in the world like you. He made us so unique that our DNA stands out, that no one has the same DNA as us. I am a twin, I have a twin sister, and we were born on the same day. We shared the same womb, however, we are different. God made us different. We have 23 chromosomes of our mother and 23 chromosomes of our father, but yet we are different. Those 46 chromosomes, they all come together and still make us different. Different personalities, different mindsets, different thoughts, different feelings, different perspectives of the world. God has made us all fearfully and wonderfully in the book of Psalm, chapter 139, it talks about being fearfully and wonderfully made and that God knew us when we were in our mother's womb. He knew us before our mother knew us. There is a purpose and plan for our lives. The seed of us is not in vain. The seed of us is going to grow and come forth as pure gold. Come forth as this lovely tree with a purpose and plan. God has a purpose. Let's embrace it. Let's embrace the journey. Let's embrace the journey to knowing what that purpose is. And how do we know? We look to him. We look to him to show us the way. And he will do it. He will not leave or forsake us. And along the way, he will come alongside of us. So as I leave you for this Emerge moment, just be blessed. Just celebrate who God made you to be. Just honor who God made you to be. Just embrace who God made you to be. And be blessed every step of the way today. Embrace the sunshine. Embrace that it's not raining. Embrace the trees that are growing. Embrace the breath that you're breathing. Just embrace life. Embrace the seed of you. Embrace the thought of you. Embrace the purpose that you have in your life. So remain blessed, be resilient, and keep walking and talking with the Lord. God bless you.